It's spherical! Spherical! Hello my fellow degenerates, Cookboss88 here and welcome to r slash bstars and r slash bna, two big furry anime subreddits in one video for your viewing pleasure. BNA is a huge thing right now, especially when the one and only Ben Diskin, the voice of Haida and Jack, is casted as Shiro Ogami. How awesome is that? And with the English dub being made available for western audiences, there is now a boom of new memes for us to look at. But before we get to any of that, I would like all of you to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here, click on that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. And with that out of the way, let's go look at some memes and have some fun. Shiro is hot. Why well, yes, yes he is. I'm not gonna dispute this. I agree with the statement 100%. My mind cannot be changed now. Thank you, Michiru. Do you even know her last name? Jack, I'll tell you her last name tomorrow because she's gonna be screaming it tonight. She's gonna be screaming her last name? Eh, uh, boy. <laughs> Just stop by your head. Jack, we know you love your best friend, but you also don't deserve this kind of aggravation, okay? Just just let her just let him be. Just let him be. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ and all of his carpenter friends, you did it. You crazy, horny degenerates, you freaking did it. D does Legoshi even look anything close to being a femboy? I mean, I guess I, ge I can get Louis, he's definitely rocking that crop top, but Legoshi isn't a femboy, he's a himbo. But, but yeah, I get it, I get it, it's all about preference. It's just cool with me, to each their own, I guess. To each their own. <laughs> Still though. <laughs> it's alive! Speak, my child. Juno X Legushi is the best ship. Ah, oh, god damn it, I forgot to give you a brain! Sorry guys, we've been over this. Jugosi isn't gonna happen. It just isn't. And I feel your pain. Some part of me wants Legushi and Louie to hook up, but I know for a fact that's never gonna happen. Our dreams can only exist in fanfics and nif comics. It's a sad reality that we live in. Okay, I don't have much to say in terms of commentary because it's just confusing as hell. So I'm just gonna flash it on the screen right there. But I am, however, gonna comment on this part right here. Because for some reason, in my degenerate mind, I can see this kind of working, cause I know for a fact that Jack is powerful enough to keep this ship together. He's just that much of a good boy to me, I don't know. Daniel. The cooler Daniel. Yeah, just straight up. <laughs> Shiro Ogami blows Legushi out of the water, hands down. You can stab Legushi and he'll just die like a freaking noob, but if you stab Shiro, you will die. Horribly, as in no parts of you would be left for your family to give you a funeral. I would do anything for love. I would do anything for love. I would do anything for love. Sleep in our room. But I won't do that. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. You know, the funny thing is, I have made this comparison a while ago when I first saw Nina. She is just straight up a dead ringer for Pre Marina. And you know, the ironic thing is, they are two completely different sea mammals. One is a seal, and the other is a dolphin. It also made me realize that there are no dolphin Pokemon, apparently. Did y'all know that? There are there are no dolphin Pokemon. Anime only fans waiting for season two. Me who just decided to read the manga. This is the kind of power that you wield when you read the manga. Aren't you tired of waiting? Don't you just want to go ape shite and binge read the entire manga in just one sitting? Don't you want that? I love honey, but you know what I don't love. People calling B stars a trash anime furry without even watching it. 
I don't know why I made Winnie the Pooh Scottish. Don't crucify me. I'm just trying my best. I'm a YouTuber, not a voice actor. <laughs> this is how I lose my subscribers. Just talk in an accent that I perceive to be something else. Michiru X Shiru. Nah. Michiru X Nazuma. Yeah. Again, this all boils down to preference. I myself don't mind if either ships happen in the series. A part of me agrees with the one at the top, and another part of me agrees with the one at the bottom. You do you. I'm a 15-year-old virgin. I'm a 17-year-old virgin. Amateurs. What was that, punk? Amateurs! Well, I mean, he, he is a thousand years old. I think he knows what he's talking about. It's like No Nut November, except it lasts a millennia. <laughs> Student profile. Name, Louis. Age, 18. Gender, male. Order, a word that I can't pronounce. Family, Serbine, Red Deer. Born in March of the 29th. Zodiac sign, Aries. Blood type, A. Height, weight, a bunch of numbers I do not care to read. Likes, celery. He likes celery. Why, why is that, why is that pro more pronounced? Why is that in a box for some reason? Also right at the bottom there, it's his celery time. Look how angry he is. It's his celery time. Do not bother him. Nobody bothers him during his celery time. Leave him alone. Oh, I just jog every once in a while. I do CrossFit. I lift competitively. I didn't take my strength retainer. Well, that and you also had to carry the weight of your sins that's crawling on your back. How's Juvie treating you? Shido, every time he gets injured. This is fine. Get that thing out of my face, mom. Okay, if you haven't read this wonderful Legoshi X Louis fanfic yet, then you are missing out. It's so good. The cliches that most fanfiction writers do when writing a story like this aren't there. It's incredibly well written, and I recommend reading it if you ship Legoshi and Louis, if you haven't already. Me, first seeing people making Shiru X Michiru prawn. Ugh. Me, after thinking about the situation and realizing that he might be a thousand year old virgin and he might deserve a bit of physical contact after everything he's been through. Hmm. Okay, here's my take on this. Yes, a part of me ships Michiru and Shiru, but they are not far enough along in their relationship for anything romantic to happen. Michiru just turned 18 and she has a lot of developing and maturing to go through before doing anything remotely romantic. And Shiru may be mature, but he is also emotionally guarded and closed off. This has been his default state for the past millennia or so. He wouldn't quite know how to deal with intimate emotions such as love. To be honest, a one night stand is the last thing he needs. What he needs now is to reconnect with who he was before the human beast man war started a thousand years ago. He needs to find himself again because the source of that guilt, that hate, that vengeance that's been keeping him going has been defeated now. What he needs to do is find himself and try to live again. And maybe in the near future, maybe Michiru and Shiru may get together. We don't know. We're just waiting for another season to start. When you learn that Jack doesn't fap to rabbit prawn. Pathetic. This is like kink shaming but in reverse. Bill, after realizing how much money he paid for a finger. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Hmm. How much is 70,000 yen in Filipino peso? 32 grand? So, so wait, 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 wait. So let me get this straight. This striped idiot spent that much money on an old man's dirty finger so he can eat it? You can buy a ton of things with that money and you chose to spend it on that? Are you insane? What the hell is wrong with you? 
And that brings us to the end of r slash b stars and r slash b and a. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, and support me at Coffee. All links. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining, and there are cars just passing by, man. It's annoying. Annoying as frick. But anyway, all links in the description. <laughs> this has been your fellow degenerate cookboss88, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. See ya! I can show you the world Shiny, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, no, when did you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder, over, sideways, and under, on a magic carpet ride, a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view no one to tell us no or where to go or say we're only dreaming a whole new world a dazzling place i never knew but now from way up here it's crystal clear that now i'm in